4a on the 3.2 green sheet. So we have, uh, they want us to find the equations of both of these lines. So when they say to find the equation, uh, the, the format that you want to put them in is a plus b x, where b is the slope. And that's found by doing what? Change in y over change in x. Okay? The A is known as the what? What is it? Y intercept. And that is found by looking at the line and seeing what the Y value is when X is zero. So you go to zero, comma, whatever. You want to find out what that is, and that's called our A. So for this equation, let's call it I, or number one. What would the y-intercept be? Here's the line. Tell me when it hits the y-axis. Now, yeah. yeah, right about there. Okay, so that would be the, the y-intercept. So that is your value of a. So when you go to write the y equals equation, it's going to be y equals, how far up is it? Four. It's either four plus bx or four minus bx. As I was tracing that line in black, was I going uphill or downhill? Uphill, so it's definitely plus. Now the B comes from change in Y over change in X, and you can find that two different ways. You can locate two points on this line and use this formula, or you can just make what's called a slope triangle. You can make these little steps and see how far up does it go for how far over. It looks like it goes up four for every over three. And that's the equation of the line in part A for the one going uphill. All right? We could have gotten that four thirds by realizing that this point is zero four, and this point is negative three comma zero. The change in y would be 0 minus 4 over, the change in x would be negative 3 minus 0. 0 minus 4 is negative 4, negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3, and that's 4. That's how you find the equation of that line in part A. You find the equation of the other one, let me know how you did on Monday.